After a while, you get used to the smell. Mm -hmm. Every smuggler I have ever worked with. variety of reasons.
be completely safe, it is probably best to avoid the kills.
Please, don't shoot. If you want the encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it. There's no need for all this violence. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not mistaken. You're carrying the conduction grid data on you right now. I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It, it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. Oh, don't, don't patronize me. I know I'm no prize winner myself, but at least I don't spend my days trying to screw everyone over. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. You should consider distancing yourself from your brother. Perhaps somewhere off-world. That wouldn't do any good. For every scheme he's gotten himself into, he has a bulletproof exit strategy. The man's virtually immortal. If such a thing were possible, it likely would have happened before now. I expect it is beyond your... ability. You know what? 
I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. As usual, you can thank my dear brother for that. At first, he made me deputy administrator. That went well, until I wouldn't cooperate with Owen Dexler and all of his thugs at Neon Security. Then, he had me work with Valentina over at Xenofresh, helping with Aurora distribution, until she pinned the credit skimming scam on me. And now, here I am, chief technician at Jenardine. I don't even know the first thing about electrical engineering. Do me a favor and don't tell my brother we talked. He, uh, wouldn't like it. with me yet, huh? Because he's a two-faced son of a bitch, that's why. It's not like I should be surprised. When we were younger, we never got along very well. I mean, he's 11 years older than I am. We had two different mothers. Might as well have been from two separate families. Well, there's a reason for that. I never knew my actual mother. She was my father's mistress, and I was told she vanished from Neon when I was only two years old. Ben's mother, she didn't give a crap about me. Wouldn't even let me call her mom. I just had to call her Liliana. <laughs> Can you imagine? And then there's Dad. So buried in the day-to-day -day operations of Neon, he didn't have time to pay attention to his bastard son. Yeah, I've, I've tried, but I always hit a dead end. It's as though she was here one day and suddenly vanished the next. And then her existence was erased from everyone's memory. I wouldn't be at all surprised if my father had her killed to avoid public embarrassment. That's the kind of man he was. Feels good to be in control for a change. I tried Aurora once. I did not enjoy the experience. Yeah. Uh. 
Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. Oh, I will. With or without your help. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Because, like the majority of revenue-generating businesses in the city, I have a vested interest in Jennerdine's profits. But more importantly than simply losing money, I don't like anything in my city being interfered with without my approval. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. There. You see, all you know how to do is threaten violence. Exactly my point. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. That is an offer? Your negotiating skills are impressive indeed. My dear friend, you couldn't possibly offer me enough money to offset the embarrassment that this has caused. I'm afraid you'll just have to reveal your source. Brayson? Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. There's never a shortage of underlings and sycophants, but family is limited. He would do well to remember that. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the Key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard. You ever hear that one about the orphan and the platypus? Funny stuff.
Aurora has built. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? Man is priceless. So I've heard. Throwing Brayson under the bus like that. Ouch. Benjamin Bayou's office and demanded the job. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead in the water at this point. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash and I have no way to pay it all back. Well, a business partner of mine named Nix was the author of the virus. Don't know if you know him or not. Then there's the folks I paid to keep an eye on Ayumi Komiko, a few of the guards Jennerdine. Like I said, it was a huge job. Honestly, I shouldn't be revealing my sources because that puts you on their radar as well. But hey, you asked. I've been fleet for the last five years. You don't have to remind me that there's risk in what we do. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. Some small amount of compensation seems reasonable, given the circumstances. I appreciate that. I really do. Having each other's back is what makes the fleet stronger, you know? How much uh, are you willing to part with? This is perfect. It will definitely help. Thank you. Clearly, you are very welcome. All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be here in Rook for me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. I hear things are heating up back at the key, so I might fire up my bird and head over to check things out. Rumor has it that Delgado has some solid info on the Crix's legacy story he's been hawking for the last few years. If there's even a chance that it's true, I want to be there when Shinya Voss starts splitting the loot, if you catch my meaning. Completely ruined? Nah. I was hoping it would stay on Jennerdine's mainframe for the long term, but hey, at least it's already fed me a huge amount of data. Nix really knows what he's doing, though he charged me about six months worth of earnings. With any luck, I'll be able to recoup my costs in no time. Put in a good word to Delgado for me, will ya? Maybe you'd like to try a velocity. No customer. Bienvenue. Before you order, I have two simple rules you need to know. Oh, this is my place. That means everyone in here is under my protection. You don't mess with them, they don't mess with you. If you're buying drinks, you better have cash. Madame Sauvage does not offer credit. Good. Ça c'est bon? Finally, someone who listens and does what they're told. A rare commodity in Epsi. I like you already. Mm. Your rules are duly noted. Thank you for explaining them at the outset. So, what can Madame Sauvage get you? Have you come to try Velocity, perhaps? Or do you prefer something with a little less kick?
Oh, then I must attend to my other customers, Mon Ange. Perhaps we'll speak again. Hmm? We'll see you again soon, yes? Welcome to Ryujin Industries. Can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogen Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. And hopefully I have some answers. Imogene Salzo is my idol. 
She's ruthless, but still knows how to behave around everyday people, if you know what I mean. She's probably next in line to take over for Ularu Chen, head of operations here, which would be a godsend considering Chen has no filter and loves to speak her mind. No one loves brutal honesty that much. Good. Best not keep Imogene waiting too long. And the offer still stands if you need someone to show you the way. Of course, follow me. This current floor we're on is the main operations level. It's where the grunt work happens for this department. Research, data entry, more busy work than you can stand. Most of the people here are technicians that report to Yuko. But there's I suspect the that if I were confined to life in an office like this, someone would end up being stabbed. Here we are. Good luck in there. I'll probably see you on your way out. I hope you're more prepared than the last one. Have a seat. And your friends can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. All right, just to get a few things straight here. I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart, Yuko, is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? It's good to see you're familiar with and appreciate our work here. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? A bold answer, and hopefully one with truth behind it. How motivated are you to succeed Here at Ryujin, that's completely up to you. It's not unheard of for someone like you to reach an executive level position. Plus, we're pretty good at finding any untapped potential, so if there's a role we know you'll excel at, we'll find it. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Well, you've certainly come to the right place for that. Considering your education, I'm sure you could reasonably find a place in that department. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away.
There is little question that Legion has some influence here. Mm. And Oh, the reunion order. You must be now. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired is what happened. And this... is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced. By this, nobody? <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were gonna get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Oh, Believe me, it's either you or me. I believe you have grossly misunderstood the situation. If you put the gun down, perhaps we can come to an understanding. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. It can't be helped. I have no choice here. Look, at some point, Ularu really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. Let's just say, Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's gonna see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time and before our paths cross again, okay? And when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me like I listen to you. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. We spoke of the difference between having a purpose and having goals. I believed myself right in the moment and dismissed what you were saying. But... Thinking more, perhaps I have been arrogant to assume I am right. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary, that there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now. And I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. Doubts have never been something I would consider. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... No, that is not what I am trying to say. I... promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home, jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. It certainly influenced the way I see the universe. 
I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when circumstances meant I, I might never see them again, with no warning. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea, but therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. I appreciate that more than you know. Maybe if I move to the volume report... Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple-checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. for indulgence and decadence. I am both disgusted and impressed. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer, and the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations, you've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? You were right to talk the situation through, rather than letting it escalate. Let me explain. I'm promoting you to Junior Operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? In any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary? You're basically removing obstacles from the equation. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. You have my attention. I hope I can wrap up this next assignment quick. The Razor Ball tournament starts tonight.
Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Yes, the profit margins are vastly different at this point in time. It's more the principle of the matter. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Uh, me and an entire department at my back. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Oh boy, you're gonna be a real handful. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. That depends on your actions going forward. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Good. Then we should get along just fine. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. <laughs> Very funny, but not untrue. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Sometimes it takes, uh, drastic measures to ensure we can deliver the best products possible. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I'm glad you feel that way. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. 
Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck.